the Republican Party is moving away from Donald Trump, and the twice-impeached one-term president knows it. New polling shows GOP voters are less likely to describe themselves as Trump supporters first, and MSNBC's Joe Scarborough said that explained a recent shift in Republicans speaking out against the presumed 2024 nominee. Take a look at the MSNBC discussion. But this committee, though, we were all criticizing the committee two months ago for not doing anything. Now, every day, it's just just headlines left and right. I think we're going to be in for a very busy spring of blockbuster revelations, uh, yeah. which they've already sort of teased with little breadcrumbs here and there and yeah. various requests uh, for Ivanka Trump and Sean Hannity. Um, but it indicates they have a trove of text messages, yeah. and they're getting these new documents from the National Archives. Mm -hmm. um, but the text messages in particular are just so good. Aren't they, they amazing? They show this, there's an immediacy, there's yeah. an informal nature about them. It shows the extent of personal relationships between these players, just how close Sean Hannity was with people in the White House. Right. That was crazy. Sean Hannity giving Ke Kayleigh McEnany strategy advice for how to handle the communications effort from the to, White House. To I push think. him away. Way, oh, push, push Donald him away Trump from away from the, the craziness. The exactly. Yeah. A lot Which of people you, out there aren't thinking, oh, hey, Sean Hannity, voice of reason. But Sean Hannity was, behind the scenes, the voice of reason. Yeah. And then that night he'd go on TV and talk like Trump. But, uh, I, I, David, the, the Republican Party... Something is happening. You see these polls that show now only 38% first identify themselves as Trump supporters, 55, 56% say they're Republicans first. That's a huge. According to The Independent, the office of Donald Trump began another day with a brace of angry statements, reiterating false claims about the 2020 election and the events of January 6, 2021. Railing against what he calls the unselect committee investigating the insurrection, Mr. Trump both blames the Capitol attack on Nancy Pelosi's supposed failure to secure the building, a longstanding Republican talking point with little basis in fact, claiming it is more important than the attack itself. The ex-president also complains about a massive ballot harvesting operation in Georgia and other swing states. It isn't clear exactly what he's referring to, but false claims about the supposed mishandling of ballots have been a staple of Mr. Trump's stolen election narrative since before the vote even took place. Former RNC chairman Michael Steele, who has become one of the former president's tougher critics on the right, told MSNBC last night that Donald Trump's personal role in the efforts to undermine the election should not be underestimated given the degree of control he is able to exert over those around him. On the mainstream media front, Joe Biden has announced a major event in U.S. foreign policy, the killing of Islamic State leader Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Karashi by U.S. military team in Syria last night. He is expected to speak on the news shortly. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.